the spirit of hardy milk and water. I invoke the spirit of a new generation of young activists whose energy and passion advance the cause of LGBT equality and justice. I'm from Orange County, New York. I'm a, Binghamton, I'm a freshman at Binghamton University. I'm here today because I'm 18 years old and I'm straight. And what that means in America is that I have a whole set of rights that my gay peers don't have. And to me, that is unacceptable in America. This is a nation that must be governed by tolerance and not in equity. And what's going on right now in America is that prejudice is dominating our laws and straight people are being silent about it and I will not partake in that. I'm here today to demand equality to my LGBT brothers and sisters because equality should be synonymous with America and today it is not. He works for the right for all Americans to be protected under the laws of our country. He's the founder of the Alliance of Realization of Legal Equality. Sam Sussman hails from Orange County and is currently a student at Binghamton University. Our first runner-up is a gay man 19 years old. He's a member of the Western Kentucky University National Championship Forensic Team. Mario Wynn is from Dallas, Texas and is currently at school in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I must say that you young people really have a handle on what we're trying to do here. Gay, straight, trans, bi, questioning, these folks understand equal protection under the law. Please join me in welcoming Sam and Mario. Thank you very much. I am here today to deliver a message to you in the form of a promise. One that I feel compelled to make as a young, straight American. You see, I grew up in a small, conservative town in Orange County, New York. I was raised by a civil rights attorney who spent his 30s desegregating American cities and a mother who taught me that love conquers all. from the theater community and from Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. And I am prouder than ever to be from New York today because last month my Congressman Gerald Nadler introduced a bill that will at long last repeal the hateful, discriminatory, and absurdly named Defense of Marriage Act. Now I don't have a lot of time up here, and I have two things I want to say, and I'm going to get right to them. We are gathered here today from all over the United States. And back home, many of us are deeply embroiled in the particular local battles that we're fighting. But today is a national rally, and when we walk away from here tonight, we need to walk away 
with a common national resolve. And that resolve must be that each one of us will do everything in his or her power in the coming months to see that Jerry's bill is passed and that DOMA is finally repealed. So that no parent will ever have to endure what our next speaker has endured. Ladies and gentlemen, Judy Shepard. today. We're sending such a wonderful message to the country and you are doing it. The work is being done by you. And when you leave here today, don't forget, the work is being done by you. The President made wonderful promises to us. I know he will keep them, but he cannot do it alone. You need to go back to your districts, back to your homes. You need to talk to your neighbors and friends, tell your stories, vote, participate, be part of the system. The President can never do this alone. He has to have Congress behind him. And it's up to you to vote for the proper people to do that. Investigate, pay attention, educate yourselves, and vote. Coming up next, David Mixner, give it up! My name is David Mixner. I am a gay man, and I am very proud. They told me that you didn't care and you wouldn't come. We care! We care! This is just the first step, and you stand on the shoulders of giants. Behind. Sorry, you have to stand behind. You stand on those who had forced lobotomies because they were homosexual. You stand on the shoulders of the tens of thousands of our brothers and sisters who could not march with us today because they died of AIDS. You stand on the shoulders of all the people like Matthew Shepard, the thousands who have been beaten to death or disabled by senseless violence. We must honor them. We must honor them by our actions and our words. Now here is what's at stake. Let us be clear to America. We are looking at a system of gay apartheid. One set of laws for LGBT citizens and another set of laws for the rest of America. Oh no, you don't. 